Hi everyone, Austin here with Sun Fun Kits. So after our last video, I got a lot of comments saying, uh, some people are saying, ah, I, this might be something wrong with the, your the batteries. And another common uh, question is like, well, why didn't you test these batteries under a um, high watt hour test like you have previously? And uh, you know, they had a point. Um, let's see what happens to these batteries under a high load. All right. So again, we've got our batteries connected uh, with dual six gauge cables, no uh, Anderson connector or anything else. It's reading about 3.361. So let's just start with, well actually we'll start with like a basic test, like a 200 watt test. And let's sort of see what kind of readings we get. All right, so at, uh, 200 uh, watts, we're drawing around 60, 60 amps, and the voltage is staying at 3.33 volts, all right? All right, so let's go up to 400 watts, okay? So now we're drawing 120 amps, and the voltage is staying at 3.3 uh, volts, and um, yeah, so these terminals, like I said, they're easy, able to handle it. We're now at 3.29. Okay, so we'll stop. All right, so let's now go to 600 watts. So 600 watt load off of a single cell. And let's see sort of what we can get. So we're now drawing 182 amp hours and the cell is maintaining 3.27 volts. Uh, again, nothing. Now, generally, if you're doing this, don't do this continuously. Uh, you know, our terminals, they're nice, but they really shouldn't be pushing 183 amps out of them continuously. But we can see it's maintaining 3.26, so above 3.2. All right. Now, this is probably the most that we can do in our electronic load. Um, it's a, a 250 amp hour, uh, a 240 amp hour load, and we can kind of go it up, but uh, we're going to set it to 800 watts off of a single cell. And this is the same cell that we've been testing. This has probably been cycled eight, nine times already. So now we're going to put an 800 watt load off of a single cell. And it's maxed the capacity. So the reason we see warning because it's actually pulling more than we can. So we got to back it off. Uh, I think we'll go to 750 watts. Okay. And we're pushing 230 amps and still keeping 3.2, actually 3.25 uh, volts. So it's above 3.2. And as you can see, the terminals are still fine. Um, they're able to supply it. So I can assure you, if you push this much power through a grade B cell, and we don't have any grade B 280Ks. If you've got a grade B 280K you want us to send to test, we'll be more than happy to test it out. Um, but in our experience, you just cannot, you know, this is where you really see the difference. Capacity is not a good way to measure the difference between grade A, grade B. You really need to see what the cell does under, under load. I think we might be even going to go to 775. I think that's probably the most we're going to be able to put before overloading our, uh, our load. So, okay, 775, 238. Let me see if we can go to like, I don't know, 780. Five. Yeah. So again, 241 amps off of a single cell providing 785 watts, and it is still able to uh, provide the, uh, the the amps without a problem. And um, yeah, I would be shocked if a grade B comes anywhere close. This most grade Bs will be well into the uh, low high twos at this point but um yeah our cells are fine um i know there's some controversy for some reviewers who look at capacity that don't really know how to test these correctly so um you know we've tested all of them eve has confirmed these are good the chemistry on this just likes to sell to 280 so um we'll do another test with the 304 later but uh this should serve as our um uh, you know as our test for high capacity high amp loads so yeah if you're looking for some certified 280ks uh, definitely uh, check us out we have plenty in stock uh, but as far as we're concerned yeah it passed all tests high load tests are no problem 